Hi folks, in this episode I'm going to describe a very powerful uh, mechanism, an algorithm uh, that we can use for any uh, uh, housing market problem. Uh, it's called top trading cycles, all right? And this is how it works. So once again, give me any housing market, meaning a set of uh, agents, set of houses, uh, preferences, and you know who owns what initially. And then you can apply the top trading cycle algorithm and then come up with some matching. So how does it work? Well, it works in finite number of uh, steps. Uh, well, it's going to stop in finite number of steps because there are finitely many uh, agents and houses. So in step one, in the very first step, uh, each agent is going to point to I will give you an example and, and it's going to be clear what I mean by point two. So each agent uh, will point to the owner of his favorite house. All right. So uh, your agent one, you're going to point uh, the owner of your favorite house. Uh, if you're agent two, you're going to point uh, the owner of your favorite house and so on. Well, since the number of houses and the number of agents are, is, are, are finite, there must exist a cycle. I will explain what I mean by a cycle in the example. All right. So look at the cycle closely. Each agent in the cycle will be assigned the house of the agent he points to and will be removed from the market with his assignment. All right, you, we basically take out the cycle where each agent in the cycle is assigned to the house that he or she is pointing to. Well, then look at the remaining agents. If there's more than at least one agent or more, well, then we're going to proceed to the next step. Well, step T, I call it, but step two, three, four, five, six, well, they all have exactly the same thing. Each remaining agent, remember we ignored, well, we eliminated all the agents, we took out all the agents in the cycle. And so the remaining agent, each remaining agent, is going to point to the owner of his favorite house among the remaining houses. All right, so now you cannot point out exactly the same house that you pointed out in the previous step because it's all gone. And so from the remaining houses, tell me basically, the, I mean, not tell me, but point to the, uh, your, your favorite house. I mean, the owner of, uh, of your favorite house. Well, then again, because we have finitely many agents and houses, there's going to be a cycle. There must be a cycle. And then we're going to look at this cycle and say, hey, each agent in this cycle will be assigned the house of the agent he points out or he points to and then removed from the market with his assignment. And then if there exists any remaining agent, well, we're going to proceed to the next step. All right. And so we are going to repeat this steps again and again. And as I said, because there are a number of finitely many alternatives, uh, houses and, and, and agents, uh, this process will stop at some finite many steps. So here's one example I would like to talk to you about. Well, I have set of agents, four agents, set of houses, house one, house two, house three, house four, preferences, and the initial endowment. So this is a housing market. Okay, just, just one problem. So how do we apply the top trading cycle algorithm and come up with a matching? Well, uh, in step one, each agent points to the owner of his favorite house. Well, agent one, uh, his favorite house is H1, house one. Who is the owner? Well, himself. So therefore, agent one is going to point out himself. Okay, good. What about agent two? Well, agent two, I put it here. Agent two, his favorite house is house one. So who is the owner of house one? Agent one. So therefore, agent two is going to point out, point to uh, agent one. What about agent three? Agent three, his favorite house is house two and it, this house owner is agent two. So therefore agent three is going to point to agent two. And then finally, uh, agent four, his favorite house is 
So let me put uh, agent four here. His favorite house is H2 and H2 belongs to agent two. So he also points out agent two. Well, do I have any cycle? Well, yes, there's only one cycle though. This is a cycle, okay? And so uh, therefore I can only take out player one or agent one. So I am creating a matching, remember? How do I do that? In step one, I'm going to match agent one, his own house, and then he's going to be out of the market. Good. Well, so this is step one, basically. I hope that was clear. So as a result of step one, we eliminate agent one, and obviously we eliminate house one because it's no longer an available house. Now I rerun exactly the same thing. We can also eliminate that one uh, among the remaining players. All right, so in step two, so I have agent two. Agent two's uh, favorite house is house three which belongs to agent three. All right, so agent two points to agent three. All right, agent three, his favorite house is house two, which belongs to agent two. So therefore agent three points to uh, agent one, uh, two, I'm sorry, agent three points to agent two. So I have a cycle, you see what I mean? All right, but we're not stopped there yet. I mean, let's, let's see agent four, agent four, uh, his favorite house is house two, which belongs to agent two. So H, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not H, uh, agent, three, uh, agent four is pointing to agent two. Well, as I said, agent two and three are forming a cycle and agent four is not part of this cycle because once I start from agent four, I can never come back to agent four. So agent four is not a part of a cycle. I hope that is clear. So, I mean, here agent one is a part of cycle because once I start from agent one, I will go back to agent one. Here agent two is in the part of cycle because once I start from him, I will come back to him. Once I start from agent three, I will come back to agent three. Once I start from agent four, just follow the arrows, you will never come back to uh, agent four again, all right? So therefore he is not in the cycle. That's what we mean by uh, being part of cycle. So therefore in step two, we're going to take this members of this market out. Well, who's gonna get what? Well, remember agent two was pointing agent three's house, which is house three. So agent two is getting house three, therefore, and agent three was pointing the house of agent two. So he's getting house two. Well, then finally I have agent four, um, I don't know why I put I and four together. So this is step three, agent four. Well, obviously uh, house two is, well, agent two and agent three are out of picture. Agent four, house two and house three are out of picture. And obviously there's only one house available for him. And so obviously he's going to cycle himself. Uh, you see what I mean? I mean, th that step three is ridiculous, I know. It's just there's one more house, and so we should assign this house to the agent four, right? So therefore, I4 gets his own house, okay? So that is the allocation we're gonna get once we apply the top trading cycle algorithm. And I hope that was clear.